Hey nerds, so Google dropped a load of new updates to Notebook LM before the end of 2024. I'm going to take you through what's new since my last Notebook LM tour back in mid 2024. This includes some pretty cool features with audio overview. So here's everything you need to know about using Notebook LM in 2025. Okay, so we have a new look for a new year. Now, firstly, you can see we have this new simplified and sleek UI. Now, the previous one wasn't bad, but it could be pretty difficult to navigate and find quick actions. So we now have this free panel interface with your sources on your left-hand side, the chat window here, and also studio. So sources remain where, as it says, your sources live, obviously. Just as before, you can select or deselect the ones to include in your chat very simply here. And the good news is that they've raised the limit from 50 active sources at one time to 300 sources. So that means it's 300 sources per notebook, which is up to 150 million words. You also get raised limits for audio overviews, chat Q&A and total notebooks as well. So pretty good improvements here. And as you can see, really simple to upload any of your different data sources from Drive, from different links and text. Still got to do CSVs, a little bit annoying, but hopefully they update that soon. So second, chat. Now, as you would expect, this is a Google product. So conversations continue to be powered by Google's Gemini model, but they're a lot tidier compared to version one. Now. In this version, you can now see your chat panel here side by side with your notes, which will appear over here. So you can see that I have dropped in a report and I've got some of my notes already compiled on the right hand side. Now, this might sound like a small thing, but it was absolute pain in the ass in version one. You had to continually jump between separate windows to view your saved notes and then engage in a conversation. I've also noted that both notebooks and notes have automatic titles now based on the topic. Again, small, but another good quality of life feature and saves those endless streams of untitled notes everywhere. The rest of the panel is pretty straightforward if you've used any conversational AI tool. You can create docs as you can see here. You can ask your questions in the chat window here. And of course you can save notes and add notes which will appear on your panel here on the right hand side. Now also to note, there is now a paid version or a plus version of Notebook LM. I'm using the free version in front of you right now. So everything that you see, you can access with a free generic Google account. If you decide to get a paid version, you will get the added bonus of choosing a chat mode which basically means you can tell Notebook LM to act as a guide, an analyst, or even define your own instructions. So for those of you who are ChatGPT users, this is basically Google's answer to custom instructions. I believe part of that membership or subscription is in the workspace package. Now let's focus on our third panel, which is Studio. So we're now on our third panel, and this is called Studio, as you can see here on the right hand side. Now it's here that we see quite a few improvements. In the last half of 2024, you might remember the internet was ablaze with the audio overview feature from Notebook LM. Basically your notebook was turned into an audio conversation between two AI hosts. They were absolutely everywhere. Now for me, it was impressive for five minutes before everyone started producing a million overviews with the same voices. So you can see here that Google probably wanted to do something to give a, a bit more spice, a bit more variety. So this feature, as I've always said, for me, is had the biggest improvements in what I look at as the version two release. So firstly, you can now customize what the AI hosts focus on in the overview. And you can do that by just clicking customize here. And then you can tell the AI hosts what you want it to focus on in that conversation. Just a note, you need to do that before the conversation is generated. Now, this was a big ask in the Discord community for those of you who are part of that. 
as often I found too that AI summaries only really share what they thought was useful rather than what was already in your notes. Now, the second one and probably the biggest upgrade on this drop is the ability to now speak of those hosts in the conversation. So yes, you heard me correctly. You could now ask to join the conversation to ask hosts questions. I have a separate video on that, which is linked in the description and somewhere in this video will pop up so you can check out that feature in live action. Now, it kind of feels like calling into one of those late night radio shows for those of you who remember them. And no surprise of this feature, as we move ever more into the realm of voice and vision experiences, we're gonna see more of this interactivity of generative AI tools. Now, of course, like most things, it is not without its faults. It does often feel like <laughs> the hosts are annoyed by your questions. And this is something very recently Google has noted. And they've recently had to train their AI hosts to not act annoyed at humans. So Google deployed, and this is totally true, what they called friendliness training. Now, you really can't make this stuff up, can you? So for those of you who are curious about this friendliness training to make sure these hosts weren't annoyed, you can find the link to that article from Google in the description below as well. Okay, folks, so that's it. That is what you need to know about the latest upgrades to Notebook LM for version two, what I'm calling it. If you want to watch my previous step-by-step -step guide where I share a number of use cases for Notebook LM, you can get that in the description too. I will speak to you in the next one.